We just went to see Star Wars The Last Jedi again. Uh, we saw it on opening night and we saw it on Christmas Day and now it's January the 20, what is it, 28th? Eight. So we hadn't seen it since last year and it's probably not going to be in the theater too much longer and Casey requested to go see it so we did. I only slept through the part that I always sleep through. What? You slept I, yeah, more. I fall, always fall asleep during the casino uh, yeah, breakout part. It just puts me to sleep. But the first, you know, third or quarter of the movie is great. And then that quarter is a, a good time to take a nap if you're a little sleepy. And then the last whole half of the movie is great. So that's our thing on that. But what's really neat uh, about this particular day is we, uh, I was able to borrow uh, a... Star Wars Rogue One Special Limited Edition Nissan Rogue, uh, which they made in 2017. They made 5,000 of these cars, uh, or 5,400 actually. 400 went to Canada and the other 5,000 went here to the United States. They were available in black and white and in front wheel and all wheel drive trims. So we're in a white one with all-wheel drive, which is just the way I would get one if I was going to get one. Of course, I'm not a really huge fan of Nissan products. I wish it drove like uh, a Mazda CX-5, but hey, you can't have everything. The Mazdas don't come with Star Wars trim. So it's kind of raining right now, but I'm going to try to show you a little bit about the special Star Wars stuff on this car. Probably my favorite thing is the door jams have the Star Wars logo in them. And at night, you can't really tell it now because it's during the day, but at night, these are illuminated. Some people might say they light up. Here is what they look like at night. Really, really cool when you open the door and see that, especially if you're kind of a, a Star Wars nerd like I am. Very cool indeed. There are these special plaques on the both front doors that say Rogue One Star Wars Limited Edition. They're pretty classy looking. Back here on the D-pillar on the passenger side is a decal that is a uh, Rebel logo. Funny thing, the detail department was cleaning this vehicle up after it was traded in where I work and they about scraped that sticker off. I stopped them just in time. There's a rear bumper uh, protector guard that says Star Wars on these. Here on the D pillar on the other side is the Empire logo. Uh, they have special black wheels which the regular Rogue Ones or Rogues, excuse me, don't have. And I think the, the blackout grill treatment is unique to the Star Wars edition. These were only 2017s. And like I say, they only made about 5,000 of them. And we're driving one today. It was kind of cool to show up at a Star Wars movie in a Star Wars car. And there's the Star Wars Rogue One Special Limited Edition Star Wars Nissan Rogue out in front of Regal Cinemas where we just watched Star Wars. We are at the Old Chicago Pizza and Tap Room. Try out some pizza. I think I'm going to build my own pizza with a Chicago crust, individual sized, with pepperoni and jalapenos and green olives. What are you going to get, Casey Poo? Barbecue bacon cheddar burger. Oh, a burger. That sounds yummy. <laughs> are you building your own also? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are your three things going to be? Uh, grilled chicken, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, and basil. What kind of crust? Uh, the Chicago. Oh, when in Chicago, do as Romans do. Or something. Well, that's a big bacon it's burger. It's your favorite, sorry. So just look at it. It's a commercial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a... That's the commercial we watch sometimes. Big Burger. And let's see, there's your pizza. Here's my pizza. With lots of jalapenos. This is actually a little bit bigger than the individual size pizza that I actually bought in real Chicago. 
Looks pretty good. Let's try it. Old Chicago Pizza and Tap Room. Explore beer for a smaller awning say. We just ate at Old Chicago Pizza and Tap Room, which is kind of a new restaurant near the Regal Cinema where we watched Star Wars, and it was pretty good. <laughs> Casey has injured herself. Uh, it was pretty good. I thought it was a little bit overpriced. Uh, we had two personal pizzas, a hamburger, and three soft drinks. And, uh, you know, after I left a reasonable, not excessive, and not not uh, too small uh, tip, we ended up spending $52 for, you know, to me that's, that's more money than I would want to spend for, uh, you know, a personal pizza and a hamburger and another personal pizza. Um, so, you know, for that much money, I'd, I'd probably rather buy three steaks, <laughs> you know. So, uh, but the food was okay and the atmosphere was nice. Uh, they had 50 million kinds of beer, which you can have. So people who really like to experiment with lots of different kinds of beers would probably like that. And I like the fact that you could still get, you know, they, I saw a tap for Bud Light. So if you don't like all those fancy, unusual beers and you want to a uh, beer that uh, that you, you know the flavor of and are ready for it. Um, you don't want to experiment with a five dollar glass of beer. They've got a Bud Light, so that's nice. What did you girls think? Did you did y'all like your pizza? How was your how was your burger, Casey? Yeah, it was good. Casey had a burger. Was she, she wasn't in the mood for pizza, uh, but she she liked her burger. And you liked your pizza pretty good. I like mine too. I just don't think a personal pizza for twelve bucks. Uh, I think that's more than I would want to spend for one. Uh, so, food good, price not so good. So, if you don't mind spending that much money and you want a, a decent, uh, you know, a good pizza in a place that has 50 million televisions and uh, and and lots and lots of kinds of beers. Oh, there's one more thing uh, uh, on the don't like side. To, to go to the restrooms, you have to go through this narrow hallway, and on either side of the hallway is a server station where they're ringing stuff up. So it's packed full of people. So when you go to the restroom, you actually have to move a bunch of people who are trying to work out of the way. Uh, well, matter did, go ahead, baby. Um, one lady said, um, this is probably where we shouldn't hang out. So they were just standing there talking, so they weren't actually doing work. Yeah, but I think there's uh, one way to get back into the kitchen. I saw another doorway, but to ring up food, you have to stand right there. So... It was, uh, you know, it was, it was, un Casey wanted me to go first, it, I'll, you know, uh, because it was uncomfortable for her to try to move all those adult people out of her teenager way. So I was happy to go first, but it'd be even better if they weren't in the way in the first place. So anyway, old Chicago pizza and, and tap room here uh, near Hamilton Place Mall kind of halfway between Hamilton Place Mall and the Regal 8 recliner included movie theater. Pretty cool. And we're still in the Star Wars car, so we're excited about that and uh, take it back tomorrow and go back in my regular car. All right, Casey is using the Force. No. Oh, you're being 11. Casey's yeah. being 11 from Stranger Things. We're kind of Stranger Things crazy too. Maybe, if, maybe we'll get a Stranger Things car to drive one day. Who knows? Everybody say bye. Adios. Well, now look who's driving the Star Wars car. Pew, pew. That's right. Casey is driving the Star Wars car. Casey is just starting to kind of work on maybe doing some driving, practicing. She's 14, trying to get her a little bit ahead of the game. And I figured this is the only day we're ever going to have the Star Wars car. So might as well let her take it for a spin. Okay.